What is going on guys? SCP Media here today. I'm going to be the first video on this channel. Um, today, I'm just going to hop right into it. We're going to be doing a little bit of flipping. Um, if some of you don't know what flipping is, I would hope you do um, by clicking this video. You kind of see where we're going. But anyways, flipping, I could sit here and I could talk about it for 20 minutes, you know, explaining all the different types and all the different things you can do. Basically, you're buying something for low and you're selling it for high. Um, it could mean you're buying something for cheap that you're just gonna sell right away without doing anything to, or it could mean you're buying you know, a car that needs you know, something simple. You find a car that needs a sensor, or you find a truck that needs this or that, whatever the case may be, you fix it and you sell it for a lot more than you got it for. So there's a lot of different ways you can flip something. Um, basically what we are going to be doing today though, I'm gonna go over here and show you on my phone. Let me get it open. So we are going to pick up an 04 F250. Um, basically it was a fleet truck for a construction company um, needs a motor I know that for a fact don't know anything else about it really I know it's been sitting for about two years this is gonna be one of those cases where we basically buy low and sell for high um, truck is posted for 500 bucks so went and got the money out of the bank um, we're about to go hop in the truck head on up there check this thing out I think it's probably gonna be a pretty good flip for 500 bucks um, in the picture, it does have a utility bed on it. Utility bed is no longer on the truck. So that does suck. That kind of hurts the value of it a little bit, obviously, that it's missing a bed. But being at the $500 price tag, I don't think it's going to be any problem to sell this thing for at least $1,500, two grand. So I think we're going to have a pretty good flip today. Um, I'm about to grab a few things, go hop in the truck. Um, I'm going to take you guys along with me. My buddy's with me today, too. You ready to get it? Let's do it. guys so here she goes trucks dirty as piss we're loaded on the trailer get back to you in just a second when we get this thing off all right as y'all can see truck is filthy we got her squatted down this old boy but we got her truck is squatted to the max but that's all right. We're freaking solid. We got this thing all the way back. We got it in the Home Depot parking lot because obviously it can't fit, but we're about to go get some Zaxby's. This is the free. I think I, think I might have to move to Carolina after this whole <laughs> endeavor. We might have to just pack up and leave, but it made it here. It towed it like a damn champ, but you know, squat king. <laughs> We're about to go grab some Zaxby's though. Boys, yes. how you doing? On? What's going on? Oh man, he's got one on. I didn't win. <laughs> you didn't win? I didn't buy a shirt. I didn't win either though. I'm going to enter for the platy though. Boys, he's, well, he's fucking ready. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, Thank you sir. sir. Look at, look at this man. Look, look how good of a friend I am. It ain't gonna come off, but I'm gonna give it a shot. He already sat in my truck. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Let me get the nibbler meal for here. If you're recording me, you gotta shout me out. I gotta shout you out? Yeah. Get it, but what's up? What's up? Shout it. Real Grayson Bradford on Instagram. The real Grayson Bradford. It's hey, great. I'll at you. I promise. Right. There you go, buddy. I promise. If you come to Zaxby's, you already know the only move is the orange high C. The only move. That's what you gotta get. All right, guys, it is a few days later. We're down here at the shop. Um, so I wanted to officially show you this truck. 
the night we got it here, uh, there was quite a few people here and I really didn't have the ability to just kind of be just one on one and just show you what we got going on, what we're working with. Um, it's actually, like I said, it's been a few days. All this coronavirus shit has thrown everybody off, including me. Um, obviously, you know, we're trying to work around it as best we can, but when everything's shut down, it's kind of hard to. So, um, I'm going to turn the camera around here in a second and go ahead and excuse some of the wood laying over against the wall over here. We put a deck on a John boat, so got to get that old scrap wood out of here. Anyways, let me turn you around. So here's the truck in here in the shop in the light. I'll kind of give you a, a pan view of the whole thing. Um, I told you originally that it was an 04. Actually, upon getting the title, I realized it was an 03. Um, obviously does not have a bed like I told you originally. Um, yep, yeah, we, we decided to throw a good old XTP sticker on there. Um, anyways, so here is the passenger side. Now the truck itself is really dirty. I mean, obviously, as you can see in the paint, it's been sitting for two years. Um, but after getting some uh, some water on just a rag, and I'll have to, like I said, it's been a few days. I can't even remember where I wiped it at. But after wiping it just real quick, you can kind of tell that, you know, I mean, of course, there is a dent here and there. Nothing crazy. But as far as the paint on this thing, it's, it's not bad at all. Um, it you know looking at it from here you wouldn't think that but after uh, after hearing just a second what I'm actually gonna do um, when I get done showing you guys I'm gonna roll it outside I'm gonna pressure wash it off and my plan was um, with this backside right here it's it's not rusty at all it's just dirty you know I mean it was a construction company's truck so definitely got the dirt on there got the wear and tear and abuse my original plan was to probably just get some cheap spray paint and just run over this thing real quick just clean it up I mean basically the most efficient cleaning job you can do you know that doesn't take too much time and doesn't take too much money is is the best way of going about doing it on something like this interior is another thing that you know I mean it's a construction company's truck you would expect it to be ragged I mean yeah the floorboards dirty but it's got a floor mat everything is a little dusty and dirty uh, seats are honestly for what they are not bad I think there's like a little cigarette burn on the seat but it doesn't smell like cigarettes in here so I'm not sure um, good shape honestly I mean it's just one of those things so here's the truck um, for you guys and what I'm gonna do now I'm actually gonna go ahead and roll it outside Had to take a break. Sorry about it. Look at this shit. Literally, shit. Trying to do something good here. These damn birds. Anyways guys, so here's the truck. Um, I showed you the before and this is the after. Nothing crazy, just a simple light degrease. Sprayed off with a pressure washer. You know, cheap wash mitt, cheap soap. That's all you gotta do in this case. This is not gonna be anything showroom by any means. Somebody is either gonna buy this truck for parts um, or they are going to buy it for a project, which in that case, they're gonna be doing a lot to it anyways. So I'm just gonna kinda show you what I did. Just a simple wash. Um, I did get some cheap rattle can and I did spray the back a little bit. 
no rust there like I told y'all before I mean as you can as you can see you'd still be able to honestly though I sprayed it you'd still be able to see it if there was rust it'd be flaking like crazy in some spots it's not it's really consistent um, definitely a lot more pleasing to the eye when somebody walks up to this thing or even when they look at the pictures online they're going to be a lot uh, a lot more I, I was gonna say impressed not necessarily impressed because I don't know many people that are gonna get impressed by this this whole thing but there it's gonna be a lot more aesthetically pleasing to them I guess you could say so there's the back just just cheap rattle I mean you can go to Walmart and you can get I think it's I think it's like a dollar ninety nine or two dollars and thirty cents something like that for just some cheap black rattle. Um, but here's the front paint is honestly considering that I use just about the cheapest wash soap. I like to keep a little bit of that in there in the shop just for stuff like this or just little simple things. Um, just about the cheapest wash soap you could get. I think it was like two dollars for a gallon of it. Honestly, the paint though there's dents and scratches, it is pretty glossy. Um, just a good overall cleanup, honestly. This side, that side sprayed. Looks a lot better. Um, I'm happy with how it came out, and I don't think we will have any problem whatsoever selling this thing uh, for for at least a good little turnaround. So, I mean, I, I paid 500 bucks for it. I've got six dollars in spray paint and i guess we can even go ahead and count the two dollars i spent on wash soap even though i already keep it here anyway and i use you know definitely not two dollars worth maybe 15 cents worth of it so we're not in this thing bad at all um just we'll, we'll round it up we'll say we're in this 510 bucks so i am going to go ahead and head out of here um and i will be back to you guys here shortly all right guys so i lied i'm back for just a second um i started to skip this part just because my camera was about to die when i started recording before i cleaned it under the hood so there wasn't really a good comparison i could give you but i will tell you this thing was dirty under here i mean you can just imagine being a an, an ex construction truck it was dusty it was dirty there was leaves i mean it was cram full of just shit everywhere so basically, like I said, I was going to skip showing you all this part. Um, and like the last clip, I ended by telling you I'm going to head to the house and go ahead and make the ad. I figured I better just go ahead and throw this in here. So here's what it looks like under the hood. My favorite part of the whole thing. Um, obviously, as you all know, it's got a 6.0 in it. But it actually cleaned up very nicely. So I am happy with that. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. All right, guys. So it has been one day since I posted this Facebook ad. And I just want to go ahead and show you real quick. I'm going to flip through. So it, I'm not going to bore you too much with it. But here, here's just a good good few pictures that I posted. Um, and that, that's something I wanted to talk about too. I posted a picture of the door panel just because it does have electric windows. And when you're flipping something, I mean, it, posting stuff like that and adding that little extra bit of detail in, you may not think it makes a difference. And even if you put in your description, you know, truck has electric roll up windows, you know, cloth interior, whatever, just putting it in description is good. People can see it. But when you can, when you can really picture something and you can see it, it's a lot more appealing to you. It makes you want it more in a way, I guess, is, you know, I guess as much as you could want that old thing. But, um, so anyways, posted the truck and literally within five minutes, I had more than one people hit or person sorry more than one person hit me up about uh getting it and people haggling back and forth of course i had people offer me all kinds of stuff i had a guy offer me a wood burning stove for this thing and of course that's that's not something i'm interested in but you know shout out to that guy if he if he sells his uh sells his stove anyways so this this old boy hits me up and we're talking back and forth about the price finally we settle on a thousand bucks I tell him, look, man, if you roll up to my shop with a thousand bucks cash, trailer, you load it up, and he's got a winch on the trailer, you load it up, I don't have to do anything other than maybe help you steer it a little bit. I said, it's yours for a thousand bucks if you come get it tomorrow. So that guy is currently on his way here right now. Um, this is going to kind of be the ending to this video. I'm going to actually end it on him rolling out of the, the lot here with the truck on the trailer. But I just wanted to kind of talk to you for a second about this whole process. I mean, it, you know, I've got an hour and a half to two hours into cleaning this thing. I've got about an hour into hauling it. And as I told you all the other day, I've got 10 bucks into my cleaning products and spray paint and stuff. You know, so I, I'm in this thing about 510 bucks. I literally made a Facebook ad and within minutes somebody's already interested in it and I'm not having to do anything other than just let it roll on a trailer and leave. 
Um, so it's one of those deals where honestly anybody can do it. I just left work, I mean, 20 minutes ago and came here to the shop. Anybody can do this. It doesn't matter if you're flipping something worth 10 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, $100,000. You know something small like a lot of younger people flip RC cars airsoft guns or you know now people flip cars trucks people are flipping houses properties whatever it is you know even though the scale can get a lot bigger and it does get a little more complicated the basis behind all of it is honestly the same no matter what it is you're flipping um, as, as far as doing stuff like this I mean you can you can take 20 bucks and turn it into 40 bucks with the the right you know piece or, or whatever you want to call it um and it's it's a good thing for anybody you know that is trying to build a truck or a project car or whatever if if your income is is low there's nothing wrong with that i mean we all got to start somewhere but if your income is low you know if you have some patience and you got a little bit of hustle you can you can turn you know like this truck 500 bucks you may have wanted to spend that 500 bucks on something for your vehicle, a part, whatever. But if you take that 500 bucks and you buy something that you can turn into even more money, as easy as this was, like I said, I have done basically nothing but a little bit of a little bit of cleaning. I mean, I'm I'm sure most of y'all the same way. I don't have a ton of time to spend just doing stuff like that because I work a regular job. Um, but I mean, minimal effort, cleaned it up, rolling it out the door, basically doubled my money doing nothing. So. Um, just just a little bit of you know advice there for you guys if you're struggling or you're trying to trying to do a project think about doing something like that man throw a little bit of extra effort into it and and it can go a long way honestly you would be surprised what you can take that is you know one person's trash or something that somebody thinks is just a part out or whatever even if it is a part out part outs are good money too and turn it into a lot more and benefit yourself in the long run um, but I really appreciate you guys for tuning in, checking this video out. There is going to be a lot more going on on this channel. We had a few uploads up before when I had a, a lot cheaper of a camera and, and really wasn't as into it as I am now, but I really want to give this a shot. So um, like I just said, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. I'm going to throw up as the outro to this video, this man rolling out of the lot with the uh, truck on his trailer. So thank you guys for tuning in for the third time. Um, and we'll see you later. Bye.